Here we're asked to use variable expressions as the inputs to functions. So we have the function g defined by g of x equals 2x squared plus 3x. And remember that our input is the expression or value um, that is inside the parentheses. So this says the function g with relation to the unknown values being defined as x. So everywhere we see an x is where we have the unknown values. Well, if we want to replace those unknown values with a different input, we would just, we would define it by here. If we, for example, if we wanted g of 2, where 2 is inside the parentheses, we would replace all of our unknowns with 2 and then we could solve. Well, here it's asking us to replace the x's instead of g of x, we would want to rewrite it g of negative a. And all that's saying is replace the unknowns, or here, as defined by x, replace all the x's with negative a's. And so we could rewrite this as, and remember, anytime you're inputting, make sure that you use parentheses. So two times our unknown, which is x, we replace with negative a, and that is squared, plus three times, instead of x, we replace it with negative a. So we've just taken the x's out and replaced it with negative a. And now you just need to remember your order of operations. Remember that inside the parentheses first, if we write our PEMDAS here, parentheses, exponents, multiplication, division, addition, subtraction. So inside the parentheses, there's nothing we can do to simplify, no operations within the parentheses. But next comes exponents. So make sure that you raise this negative a to the second power before you multiply by two. So we would rewrite this as two times negative a squared plus three times negative a. And what I've done is basically use my product rule negative a would have a negative a to the first power where we would bring our product or our excuse me yeah our power to power rule we'd multiply two times this one times negative two so it becomes or not a negative two a positive two excuse me negative a to the second power so we need to make sure that that negative a gets squared first well negative times a negative becomes a positive right negative a squared is the same thing as um, I can rewrite it here, negative a times negative a. So negative a times negative a, negative and a negative becomes a positive. I uh, would really re need to rewrite this. This wasn't written quite correctly. Negative a, uh, I apologize, the announcement over the intercom threw me just a little bit, but a negative a squared uh, is different this with parentheses, negative a times negative a, whereas if I had written negative a squared, this is, this is different. We have negative a times negative a, which is going to be a positive a squared, as opposed to a negative a squared. So we raise negative a to the, um, our exponent first. Negative a times negative a is a positive a squared. We would rewrite this as 2 times a squared, and then our 3 times a negative a, 3 times negative a becomes a negative 3a, and that is our final answer. So it, as, as kind of a, a wrapping up here, make sure that you do your exponents first. Negative a squared is negative a times negative a, which is a positive a squared, not a negative a squared. So you would put that here, two times your positive a squared, and then three times a negative a is negative three a. So our final answer is g to the negative a is equal to two a squared minus three a.